Today, I'll guide you through the process of creating texture painting materials in Blender to achieve a rusty or damaged look. Firstly, ensure that your model is UV unwrapped. Begin by adding a mixed shader node. This allows you to blend two different shaders. For demonstration purpose, I'll combine blue paint material with a metallic one, giving the appearance of a worn off paint. To achieve this mix, we'll utilize an image texture. Create a new texture, adjust the resolution based on your desired quality, and set its initial color to white. You might need to swap the position of your shaders to ensure the top layer is visible. Now, let's dive into the texture paint mode. Set your brush color to black and switch to material view. If you hold down your left mouse button, you'll notice your paint directly onto the mesh. I'll recommend you using a reference image for guidance. Next, head over to the texture menu and select the cloud texture. Return to your brush setting and set the cloud texture as a mask. By holding down control, you will add or remove damage from your mesh. Feel free to get creative here. To enhance the visibility of our damage, we'll introduce a color ramp node into our node tree. Adjust the settings to your preferences. Additionally, incorporate a bump node, connecting the color ramp to the height in input, link the bump node to the bottom shader, which will create an indent appearance. You are now all set to continue painting. You can add details to remove where you want. You are able to use any shader setup. In my case, I opted for two distinct PBR textures. Thank you for watching. If you found this tutorial helpful, please consider subscribing. It helps out a lot. And I'll see you again very soon.